Hey, what is going on guys? Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today I will be providing a tutorial on how to upgrade the cluster on the Ram 1500 from 2013 all the way up to 2018. As you guys can tell right here, I have the 3.5 inch and I think I'm missing a lot of the features that you will get here with the seven inch cluster. Now this came from eBay. The seller is Cluster Surgeon. This particular person is absolutely amazing. The customer service is unreal and they program the cluster to the mileage that you currently have inside of the Ram 1500 so you don't have to worry about getting a cluster with a different mileage. They do everything for you and the shipping was super super fast guys. So if you want a cluster you want to save a couple of dollars. I mean you can get this brand new. It's going to cost you maybe above a hundred bucks and I got this one. It's already pre-owned. I think this one came from a 2016 Ram 1500 and I got this for a little under $600. I got it for $569 or something like that. They even had the best offer option in case you guys want to go ahead and negotiate with them. I'm pretty sure that you may be able to get a better price. So again, these guys are awesome, especially if you want to save some money. So anyways, this cluster has already been programmed to work uh, plug and play here with the Ram 1500. So the process is super, super simple. First of all, guys, you will need a T20 bit so you can remove four screws located here in the bottom side of the plastic right where the um, cluster is and then inside of this bezel you're going to find two seven millimeter uh, screws that need to be removed so you're going to need a socket for seven millimeters and that's pretty much it now in this particular case guys i went ahead and removed already the screws which are right here right underneath this plastic so now what i have to do is just pull it out like so and it's super, super easy, as I mentioned before. Likewise, and the whole thing just comes right off. It takes literally five minutes to do this process, guys. It's super, super easy. It's one of the easiest mods that you can do to the Ram 1500 up to date. So let's go ahead and put this in reverse. These are the two seven millimeter screws that I'm talking about that you need to remove. So you may need an extension like the one that I have right here. So let me go ahead and get this off for you guys. And there we go. So we got the first one out. Now we're going to get the second one out. And the cool part is that there's only one connection on the back side of the cluster itself. So it should be very, very uh, easy to do. So now here guys, the best way to get this thing out is by lifting it from the bottom side, just the way I'm doing it right now, is be patient. There we go. So then right behind the cluster, we have here the connector. Make sure that you push in the pin. The pin is more towards like the upper side of it. There we go. And now we have this connected the cluster. So all we got to do now is just pull it out. I would recommend that you guys at this point bring the steering wheel down. There we go. That'll make it a little bit easier. And voila. So now to get the new cluster installed, you just basically do everything in reverse. Again, very easy to do. So let me go ahead and complete the installation and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so here we have the cluster all set up and ready to go. It took me literally about five minutes to complete the installation. Now from here, you guys can see that I am getting a lot more information than I was getting before with my previous cluster, 3.5 inches. Now I get here the compass, I can easily tell if I'm going south, north, east, west, or northeast, northwest, whatever the case may be. Uh, we also get the temperature um, outside, we get the time, and even the range that you will get depending on the fuel that you have inside of your tank. Um, also, we get this cool feature is the gauge that tells you when your oil needs to be changed. Mine just got changed, so mine is all the way up to where it says good. Um, so that's another uh, useful information that you get with this cluster. Moving down below here, we get the tire pressure information. Keep in mind that this is only going to work if you have a 2014 up to 2018 Rams, but if you have the 2013, then you don't need the one with this feature because this is actually costing you a little bit more if you get uh, the one with the tire pressure information. But if you don't have this feature, like I said, if you have a 2013 Ram, you don't need to get this particular cluster, this one that looks identical to this one, but it's a little bit less in money. So again, make sure that you guys uh, check that information out. Then moving down below here, we got the fuel information. It tells you, um, you know, what's your average miles per gallon, your current miles per gallon, and also the range that you will get with the fuel that is inside of the vehicle. So again, very good information there as well. You got trip A and trip B information. This is kind of standard. Then the next option we have here is where the 
uh, cluster communicates with the radio and it tells you all the stations that you're playing. If you are connected to um, Android Auto or CarPlay, all the information is going to be displayed directly from here. So again, another cool uh, thing about this particular cluster. The next one we have here is messages. I did get a message about the lights on the backside since I have LEDs. It is showing as they are blown, even though I know they're not, but I guess the CAN bus system is a little bit strict when it comes to light bulbs, so they're not being detected as genuine um, from the vehicle. So again, it's giving me a message, but I can easily ignore it and it doesn't appear all the time, which is great. Then the next one we have here is for the cluster setting itself. That's in case you guys don't want certain things to appear here, like the temperature or the compass, whatever you want to change, you can do so directly from here. And finally, we got the main settings. Now this is for the ones, um, I would say more towards the outside of the vehicle, like the lights, if you want to change the way they turn on or the way they blink, uh, you can do so directly from here or if you don't want them to blink at all and you don't want your headlights to be turned on every time you lock the vehicle, you can have all this changed directly from this setting. So I would say guys that overall, this is a really good cluster to upgrade to. It is amazing, I love it. People were telling me at first I was a little bit skeptical, I thought I didn't need it, but after upgrading to it, I would say it's a must for any RAM out there. With this being said guys, let me know if you have any questions down below. Don't forget to like this video. Remember that I will be providing the link below as well. Thank you so much for supporting me and I'll see you guys on my next one.